Module 3, Effective Communication. The goal of this module is for the viewer to be able to effectively communicate with a patron. Oftentimes, a patron will come to you with a problem that he or she needs solved. In order to help the patron solve the problem, whether it is finding a location or finding resources, we need to communicate effectively. There are three parts to effective communication. Question, listen actively, and restate and confirm. Question. To gather a broad range of information and to get the patron talking, begin with broad questions. Broad questions begin with words like, tell me, describe, what, why, explain. All of these words leave the question open for the patron to say anything. This puts you in the role of the listener and gives you time to focus on the information you are getting. Once you have an overall picture of the situation, ask focused questions to gather the specific information you need. Focused questions are opened or closed questions used to gain a very specific and targeted piece of information. Focused questions begin with words or phrases like, did you, could you, would you, does it, will it, could it, how many, when, and where. The next part of effective communication is listen actively. In order to help the patron, you must listen to the answers to the questions. To do this, pause. Allow some time to pass so your patron can think about the answer to your question. Don't interrupt. Let them finish their answer. Empathize. Let the patron know that you understand how he or she feels. When you sincerely empathize with the patron, it shows them that you have grasped both the content and the emotion of what they are saying. Remember to concentrate on what you are hearing, not preparing your next statement. Verbally acknowledge the patron during the process. Using I see, I understand, please go on are just a few phrases that you can use to acknowledge the patron. The third step is restate and confirm. The purpose of restating and confirming is to verify that you have been listening to the patron's questions and it clears up any misunderstanding before you provide information and or solution. Restating allows you to recap for the patron what you have heard. Confirming allows you to ask the patron if what you restated to them is actually what they said or what they meant to say. Examples of phrases to use when confirming a patron's question include, does that sound right? Is that correct? Did I cover everything? How does that sound? After you have answered the patron's question or directed him to someone who can help him further, check to make sure you have provided quality service. Ask for feedback. You may ask, does this take care of everything you need? May I help you with anything else today? Does that answer your question? All of these shows that you're interested in knowing how well you serve the patron as well as letting them know that you're willing to go that extra mile. At the end of the interaction with the patron, thank them. Thanking our patrons indicates that they are very important to us and it reinforces that we want to continue to do business with them. Our patron service begins and ends with you. Helping our patrons relies upon being able to communicate with them effectively by asking the right questions, listening actively to their replies, and restating and confirming what you have heard. These skills will help you to determine a patron's need and provide them with the best possible service.